like in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. I've been wanting to get this video for a, a, a good few days now. Look, my life was somewhat blown up by uh, uh, by my computer blowing up and then my channel being uh, getting a strike. But you know, I, I managed to overcome these things. Uh, um, so if you're watching this when it when it goes out, it's going out on Friday, the 29th of April. But it'll probably be going out on the 30th and the first on my main channel. If you're watching it when it went out on my backup channel on Rumble, thank you very much. If you can share it, oh, that is so good. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 but if you're watching it next week, enjoy, baby, enjoy. So what makes this so absolutely fascinating is we are in a very different place now from when it was written to, to now, right? It was written in July 2017, which was... The beginnings, I think, of the culture war, the, the real beginnings of the hot war that we've been experiencing. I, look, it, it got crazy during 2016, but I think most people thought, well, this is just normal election insanity, right? Uh, it was turbocharged because it was Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. People figured that people will start to calm down and things will go back to normal. No, no, that that was just the off ramp, the uh, 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 the launch ramp for the culture war. But you know, we we now know a, a lot of things that we we all suspected was a bunch of porky pies, a bunch of lies, right? Uh, that's Courtney Ryan, this language. Uh, um, we, that uh, have been completely proved to be the case. The, the Hunter Biden laptop being Russian disinformation. No, uh, uh, he's a crack adult sexually deviant weird person uh, uh uh very very connected to the president of the united states and they shared a bank account doesn't matter i'm not gonna go into details you know what about uh what about uh lockdowns yeah uh, uh lockdowns uh, uh did nothing as it turns out uh, uh the va vaccine not i mean i think i might do i have three or four i really don't know but who cares it's over like you know the, the all the restrictions are over uh, and they could have been over i think a lot quicker uh, the, yeah, the, but anyway, we're on the other side of things now, and, and we've been gaslit a lot. We've been told things up is down and black is white. If you don't like it, you're there's something wrong with you. So we're going to look at one of these articles that did that uh, when the when people still had some area of belief, right? Area of belief uh, before they really sowed it. This is before the Jody Whitaker era started. Before I realized how bad things were going to be, right? I. Uh, uh, it was like Jodie Whittaker, uh, Doctor Who, and uh, Star Wars, Rise of Sk not Rise of Skywalker, um, Last Jedi, all at the same time. It was very, it was not a good time. <laughs> it was not, it was not a fun time. Anyway, we're going to be looking at it because, oh boy, did that age badly. Did it age very badly? Yes, indeed it is. Fine, before we get into it, can you hit the like button? That'll be fan tabby double dozy. Can you hit the share button? Uh, fan tabby double dozy. Can you hit that subscribe button? Oh, that is so good. Wherever you are, if you're on my main channel, if you're on my backup channel, if you're on Rumble, oh, wouldn't it be great? Listen, listen, I, I, as you know, I am a bit bit of a Bible thumper. Uh, uh, if the good Lord, Lord is ta taking requests, if the good Lord is taking requests, may, 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 I, may I request that uh, you smite YouTube so we can all just move on to rumble and i think that will just make life better for everybody right make life better for like a ton of people especially me <laughs> i mean i think i think it'll make life worse uh, for that many but for me it'll make life better so thank you very much like share subscribe comment let me know what you think uh, we have to show the algorithms that uh, uh, this sort of content is something that you're interested in. although i am hoping uh, uh, that the whole throttling is going to be be over very soon Literally, as soon as the ink was dry on the uh, uh, Elon Musk deal, my my and everybody I know, Twitter followers just went crazy. Boom, double, triple. They must have had some algorithm in there that they knew they were going to be seen and they were cleaning up. I, I think that might be coming to YouTube too. You know why? You know why? Because uh, 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 I think Twitter's going to make a lot more money than all of them put together and their shareholders are going to be like, uh, um, no, thank you. We would like, we would rather have money than to be crusaders for your bizarre whatever bizarre calls right whatever bizarre calls that 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 you're into today uh no we would rather just yeah the money we paid for those shares we would like those to occur in value that'd be very very nice so i really think uh, uh this is the beginning of massive change i'm very like, much looking forward to it but anyway that being said if, if the god lord wants to smite youtube uh, uh i'm fine with it <laughs> I'm totally fine with it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, sign up my Substack. That's the best way of keeping in contact. If you ever see me stop making videos.
videos, uh, uh, just check my social media, right? Uh, I'll sign up to Substack. I, 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 unless I tell you I'm going away, I'm not going away. That is the basic rule. But I like, share, subscribe, comment, Substack. I have a paid Substack. Uh, I'm hopefully getting content out on that. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I can keep saying that on videos, but hopefully tomorrow. Uh, uh, and if I haven't said comment, please comment because that does help. And share. Oh, boy, sharing really, really does help. Fine, let's look at this article. Uh, Sexist Doctor Who haters! Actually, there are people who love Doctor Who. Just don't deserve a... Don't just deserve a scorn. Oh, no. No, they deserve much more. They need it. Oh, we're helping them. We're helping them not be icky-wicky bigots. And that is the mentality that has driven the destruction of our culture, right? Now, we're helping them. Excuse me, who elected you to help? Um, don't ignore the haters. They're, they're male fragility. Another complete in inversion of reality. There is a male fragility. There is a white fragility. There is liberal fr fragility. There is trans fragility, right? If you're trans, apparently you cannot coexist with somebody who thinks that penises are intrinsically male, right? You can't do it. Now, listen, I'm very, very friendly with lots of people who believe Jesus was the, the, the Lord and Savior and Messiah, right? That's not really my bag, man. Okay, you know, like I like that we all have basically similar, uh, um, uh, you know, outlooks on faith and life. But like, you know, that's really different from the way I view things. Uh, uh, so much so that 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 people who viewed it that way, you used to tie me me up to poles and set me on fire. It's called the, it's called the Crusades. Uh, uh, not me personally, I mean, but you know, uh, and like this was a very severe difference of opinion. Listen, we're all friends now. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll run the bridge, mate. What do you want me to tell you? Uh, uh, but that, you know, that's the idea. So there, there, there isn't male fragility. There isn't white fragility. When you say when they say white fragi uh, fragility, uh, it's when a white person objects to you lying about some kind of racial statistics to make a uh, a, a bogus point. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not fragility. That's some kind of weird uh, connection to truth and reality. Uh, saying that that people like the writers of the article don't really have that much. Uh, buckle down and and buckle down and crush them. Uh, and that's what we saw, isn't it? In fandom, that's exactly the mentality we saw. In fact, crush them and make them feel small. I mean, honestly, if you read uh, the Nuremberg Laws, th 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 there's very little difference between how they, how how those naughty national socialists started off in treating Jews badly uh, and uh, uh, the stunning and brave fans of this glorious era that has failed completely. Um, uh, treated. Normal fans, you're doing them a favor. Or tell me, Matthew Rosa, Rosa. Let me tell you. Let's find out why you're doing a favor. If you hadn't noticed, and in, and good on you if you don't, there's been a considerable sexist backlash against the BBC announcement the first time in 54 years that a woman would step into the role of the Doctor in the British sci-fi uh, series Doctor Who. Now. Uh, at this time, I was on the fence about the matter. I thought, no, I wasn't on the fence. I was on board, right? I was like, okay, let's give it a try. I mean, it seems like the obvious thing to do. I, I'm sure they're not going to piss away this opportunity and just uh, 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 it for some obnoxious agenda and forget all storytelling possibilities. I'm sure that's not going to happen. Now, that's exactly what did happen. And all the naysayers, they were absolutely right. They were approved completely completely correct weren't they that this wasn't just a oh i'm gonna uh, let's let's try be, having a woman be doctor that's going to be really interesting different no it was a symptom of a uh of a malaise called platforming right it was and and platforming is when you take an existing uh successful franchise and you use it as a platform for your ideology and almost always when that happens, I think always when that happens, the story writing quality just falls away completely. I'm doing very, very deep dive reviews of uh, of uh, Jodie Whittaker's first season right now. And they are truly, epically awful beyond awful. I mean, just on a technical level of writing, it's, it's shocking how bad they are. Because making sense and not having plot holes isn't important. It's all about the message, baby. And do you remember... What happened when people started noticing the message? You know, that, uh, that, oh, what are you reading into it? You're just a bigot. Uh, I get all this gaslighting. It's not going to work anymore, mate. It's not going to work anymore. Um, 
And then, and then when it stopped working, what do they do? They banned you from every Facebook group possible, right? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, did it work out? Did did this Doctor Who get uh, uh, um, cleaved to the bosom of uh, of uh, you know of the viewing public? No, they hated it because you know it, it just didn't reflect reality in any way. Um, was it uh, on top of a number of editorials in various newspapers on various websites decrying the move? Some outlets underhandedly published. Oh, that's that's wrong. Published new photos of the incoming Doctor. That's gross. Okay, firstly. Who would want that? Oh, God. I mean, I, 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 it's not the first time I, I would have called Miss Whitaker anti-Viagra, right? I, I, who would want that? That really sounds disturbingly awful, right? That's it. I didn't see anyone describe it. Disturbingly awful. Uh, uh, so, but this guy's full of crap. What am I saying? This guy is full of crap. I, I, who knows? I mean, I remember something surfacing around the time. But I don't think it was any, like, real outlet, was it? It wasn't a, uh, um, uh, was it? Yeah, listen, probably a salacious outlet. And, and, and if it was, like, something like The Sun or something, they, it wouldn't be fully new. They would have covered things over. Otherwise, they'd get in trouble. Wouldn't they? I don't know. Uh, um, Jody, uh, uh, from a past on-screen roles. Okay, well, that's weird. Uh, yeah, it was on social media accounts that predominantly male individuals. You mean what? The vast majority of the people who like Doctor Who. Okay, then. Uh, uh, and the uh, that one saw the most vitriolic and hyperbolic negative reactions to Whitaker's cast because they were all right. They were all completely correct, right? What next? A gay doctor? Yes, actually, yes, that is the a lesbian doctor. Yes, yes, that's a hundred percent. That's what everybody's saying. Uh, uh and Ken. This was back in the at the time when if you said, you know, modern feminist dogma now says that men can have periods, they would have laughed at you and laughed at you, even though factually that's exactly what, what went on, right? You know, the uh, uh, this whole push for uh, non-traditional sexuality, where has it got to now? Grooming children. Yeah, yeah, No, children need to learn about their sexuality when they're four and five years old. There's nothing creepy or weird about that. Now, put this in your mouth, would you, Sonny? Yeah, that, yeah you know, it's just not good, is it? Uh, uh, I think we're going to make our reactions to Whitaker's casting. Uh, so this guy, this one person, okay, it doesn't really seem uh, uh, that many. Um... What next? The gay doctor? Yes. A lesbian doctor. We'll have that right now, right? We 100% have that now. Uh, who knows what the BBC will do for political correctness? They will destroy themselves. They will literally, and I mean literally, destroy themselves, right? Because I, I don't know what. I, like, wouldn't you love to hit, like hear some exit interviews with these, these weirdos? Like, And forget real answers. Like, why do you think Britain's racist? Well, because of Brexit and Trump and this and that. But but wasn't the leader of the of the Labour Party, you know, the uh, the left wing party, the party on the right side of history, uh, a, a huge racist? Uh, no, that was all smears. But he said all those racist things, right? Ah, uh, no, you made that out of context. No, actually, I'm reading it completely in context. He's always favoured people who hate Jews, hasn't he? Yeah, no, it's just coincidence. Coincidence. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is a this is all what happened. Uh, a furious reactor reminds one of the sexist backlash to casting the female leads in recent Ghostbusters reboot. No, uh, okay. I, uh, people were grown because they thought it was political correctness. They gave the movie a chance. Much like they gave Jodie Whittaker. What, 10.96 million first episode? 2.2 uh, latest episode. You know, that's about the normal ratio of how many people you lose when you, uh, 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 when you have this, like, Platforming, right? John Stewart's show. John Stewart's new show. The problem, right? The problem started off with what? A um, few hundred thousand viewers. Not that many, but a few hundred thousand. Went down to under 40, right? It's just such an incredible flop. Uh, and the sexist backlash on the all-female uh, all screaming of Wonder Woman? What? Nobody minded that. Although... Wonder Woman 84 was hot garbage. Wonder Woman, the first one, was fantastic. And you could... Sort of get a uh, 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 sense that Snyder's uh, fingers in it uh, made a big difference. And the sex is back like the females are critics trying to increase uh, women's role in video games. Off. Okay, okay. Make your own video games, right? And see how they sell. Uh, did, did anybody buy The Last of Us 2? No. 
No. And again, when you put women in, uh, more women in video games, then you made them look like men. Because there's no difference in women and men now, is there? Um, uh, and the sex in Batman to the creation of the female lead in the new Star Wars trilogy. Uh, it's what uh, it's what experts call a trend. Well, what would you know about expertise? What have you been right about, mate? It looks like absolutely nothing. And again, uh, how did that work out? How did it work out? They got a billion dollar hotel in uh, uh, um, in Florida, I think. That's going to be uh, like the Heaven's Gate of hotels. Heaven's Gate was a, a movie that was, that fell so badly it bankrupt the studio. No one's going to spend six grand on two nights on 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 the sequel trilogy garbage that nobody really likes or cares about. You know, uh, yeah, Star Wars. We had uh, a Luke Skywalker, Han Solo. Princess Leia, and everybody had their own function. In this one, it's all Ray, baby. Everything's way. I mean, my God, they should, have, they should have just called it Mary Sue. Um, the term male fragility comes to mind. The, the word liberal fragility really comes to mind, doesn't it? Uh, the thing as one would expect to the tendency of many men to feel threatened whenever women begin to make progress or gender equality. Where is there not gender equality in 2017? I mean, honestly, where was there not? Well, Donald Trump won the election and not the most qualified candidate. Voter. What, she, Hillary Clinton? We, we, we're watching right now what would have happened with Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Really? Why do you assign everything to sexism and racism? You know why you do? I'll tell you exactly why, why this guy does it. Because everything he says is full of shit. Everything he says is bollocks that doesn't make any sense whatsoever and cannot stand up to this, the most minute uh, 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 ex examination. So they can't have it, uh, uh, have it any intellectual questioning of it whatsoever. It's all going to be purely emotional. Say, you don't sex with the this! Right? And, and again, what's it done for society? We're in a better place now than we were in 2017. We're really not, aren't we? Uh... So, okay, I love the way they're reading it, men feel threatened. No, it's not a question about feeling threatened. It's uh, uh, taking things that men love, uh, fundamentally changing them because you don't like men and you basically just want to punish men. Uh, and, and in the process, destroying the thing, right? That's who you are. That's what you've done. And we've seen it over and over again, right? I see they've got Donald Trump days coming up. Of course. Um... It's a growing, almost unavoidable theme, both in pop and political culture. Look, yeah. Last year, it managed to unite the ideological, disparate men from Donald Trump to Julia Assange in a quest to defeat Dilly Clinton's presidency. A, a candidacy. Okay, I just okay. Let's just say the things we know, right? Okay. Uh, um, she she had a uh, 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 off the books email server. In a uh, uh, in a house that was hacked by many many uh, 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 foreign security services, Russia, China. They all had complete. Hack. Why was it off books? Uh, could it possibly be because they, she was selling influence, uh, much like uh, uh, much like Joe Biden was doing at the same time, right? Could it possibly be that? And then when Benghazi happened, when she screwed up so badly uh, and didn't take care of her job, that uh, the what was it the ambassador to Libya was raped to death <laughs> because, because she couldn't be bothered to pick up the phone. Literally, he was raped to death. That's not a good way to go. And he was a gay guy. So, you know, I think, you know, was not the way the way to go. He, he, you know, even if somebody does like a, uh, uh, what can I, how can I put this? A bit, a bit of uphill gardening. <laughs> but, you know, could you scratch? So when what happened, happened because they, uh, they would be an investigation, she uh, uh, bleep bitched the entire server, got rid of everything, uh, took hammers to the phone so no nobody could ch trace them. All of this is uh, are, are unmistakable crimes, but it doesn't matter because she's a woman and she was standing and she was bad. She lost because she was awful, right? My son at the time uh, said if it was anybody else running about against anybody else, the other person would 100% lose. Like, it was anybody else versus Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton would lose. It was anybody else versus Donald Trump. No question, Donald Trump would lose, right? Yeah, anybody, literally. I, I think they're right. 
I think he was right. Uh, so, OK, so you're saying that the reason Trump became president was because of sexism. Maybe he had better policy ideas, right? Again, let's a bit. We had Obama, war, 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 uh, stagnation, uh, uh, economic, uh, e economic collapse. Uh, Donald Trump, economic boom, peace, security throughout the world, uh, uh, like the best economy we've ever seen. Then Joe Biden, the uh, the most incredible uh, inflation, crash, war, misery, you name it, you name it, it's all happened, right? It's all happened. Uh, um, maybe it's just because they people didn't like living like this. Maybe because people wanted to have a good economy, right? Maybe that would have been nice. Uh, and maybe it wasn't because they, they're scared of vaginas, because they're not. And you're full of shit. Okay. Um, in the past, it's been full. In the past, it has thwarted women's progress on a number of walks of life. What? Okay. If anybody's not being hired because they're a woman, I, I, to, to a, a, you know, a, it, let, let me know. I'm with you. I don't think there should be, uh, uh, people should be pr pr uh, prohibited. Um, yet. It is perhaps this uh, when this language turns on pop culture narratives that male virginity seems particularly fragile and well <laughs> pathetic. How are you doing with it with the uh, uh, destruction of CNN? That that going down well for you, right? Right? That just that, how are you going with with, with the world? You, you feel a bit bit pathetic. Were you one of the people crying about Twitter? That's a bit pathetic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sad. Um, the, again, I'm sorry, I love Doctor Who. I don't need to explain myself to you. I love Doctor Who. I've always loved Doctor Who. And I don't really see why it's to anybody's benefit to use it as a platform uh, it, when, when you're no longer going to make make it about story anymore. It, it destroyed it. It has absolutely destroyed Doctor Who. Uh, so much so, Rusty David came in. Again, 2.2 uh, uh, um, uh, viewers. Uh, 2.2 million viewers. Uh, we're probably not close to 2.2, actually. But, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's failed. Your whole way of life has failed. Your whole outlook has failed. Not so, I mean, it, I'd love to see if you're so smug on this up. But the thing is, the truth is they still are, aren't they? They completely ignore every one of their insane failures those um these poor guys i guess it's the easiest easiest way to say it when you've had 95 percent of the majority of major superhero roles all the characters in video games at 80 percent uh feels like a terrible terrible loss uh, again 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 how have these franchises fared by making them feminine how's it has it worked out it's not good is it the, really i mean i i can't believe how destroyed Star Wars is. I don't think they can rebuild Star Wars, right? I really, genuinely speaking, don't think they could ever rebuild Star Wars now. Right? No, not certainly not what it, what it was before they got their hands on it. Um, says Scientology is uh, Michael Kimmel in a re like if Michael Kimmel with an interview with Salon. Well, that well that's that's that was, it's settled science, then, isn't it? It feels like you've completely lost power, and the other side is taking over. Well, it's not because we, no one actually thought about it in terms of losing power. They saw, they, they, we saw them, we saw you just screwing up. We saw you fucking up with things that we cared about, right? Fucking it up massively, right? It wasn't about, oh no, I don't have control. It's, a, it's about you fucking it up, right? You fucked it up. You fucked up Doctor Who. You fucked up DC Comics. You fucked up Marvel Comics. You fucked up Star Wars. You fucked up Star Trek. You fuck up everything that you come anywhere near. That, it's not about power, it's about you fuck everything up because you are a useless, brainless cunt. Oh, I feel a bit better for that. Um, uh, so, yeah, so uh, amazingly, you're wrong, uh, uh, sociologist Michael Kimmel. Uh, I can only imagine what, uh, what it was like for a hereditary and uh, aristocracy after the French Revolution. You know what it was like? Okay, if you want to see what it's like when people lose power and freak out, look at Twitter, right? Look at Twitter right now. What is this meltdown about? Oh, it's not going to be safe! What is this meltdown about? I'll tell you exactly what the meltdown is about. If you've lived in a world of privilege, then the idea of having equality is terrifying. Right? And that's what it is. You've, they have lived in a world of privilege since 2017, since 2016. The idea of having equality with people is terrifying. And I would say a little bit pathetic.
Uh, he added, uh, men have a remarkable ability to, uh, uh, ability to identify with fictional characters. Well, no, the way men review characters and women are different. I know you don't like men and women being different, but men and women are different. Uh, uh, the way men view characters is they, they, when they, when they're kids, they play act the characters. They take the characters onto themselves. They become Han Solo, right? You know, they, so that's why male characters have very defined, uh, uh characteristics. Female, uh, female characters very very different as little girls imprint themselves onto the character imagine if princess buttercup was me not if i was princess buttercup do you see the difference right and so that's why they have characters with very little character traits so you can imprint yourselves on them uh, uh didn't nobody teach you this at, at, at sociology uh, uh sociology school sociology, i don't even say uh, sociological school didn't nobody teach you that no i didn't think so um uh so these become our readers our guys our heroes well they were because we were the ones who liked them right but uh, uh uh again your your whole premise of it being oh no we're losing power no we don't like you fucking up things that we like you know you like things imagine i bought the guardian and turned it into a right-wing tabloid would you like that would you uh, oh, yeah, the big thing right now is uh, uh, school teachers into five-year-olds in schools, They, if they're trans, they got to talk about their junk, right? If they don't, it, it's holding them back, and they got to put flags up. Imagine this, imagine this. Imagine they had a, a, a teacher who was a devout Christian, and she put Christian verses up and Christian uh, 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 um, posters up and, then, and would take any opportunity to talk about her faith. Do you think they would be so like, oh, yes. Oh yes, we got it. You got to be who you are. No, they will stomp all over that in a second. Why? Because they are complete hypocrites, aren't they? Um, and suddenly, to possibly consider that a woman might be able to identify with the character. Women have always been able to identify with Doctor Who, right? With these characters, it's seen as startling. It's frightening. Cap, okay, can you give me citation for this bullshit? That's the thing they never. What? How do you know this to be true, right? I think you're full of shit, right? And I, I, the reason I think you're full of shit is I'm looking at the results of your bullshit and, and I just see utter devastation. Um, uh, so that's one level of it, I think. Well, I'm glad you think that. You're wrong, right? Uh, and, that's the, and that's the idea what, that why... Uh, and that's the idea that we're so fragile that the possibility of anything resembling equality is a revolution and they're taking over. Twitter. Right. That's why you're viewing equality on Twitter in such a terrified way. You've described yourself. <laughs> Better liberal fragility. We've all seen that recently, isn't it? Kimmel's perspective, Kimmel's perspective helps us to understand why there's no point in trying to reason with individuals. Yeah, don't go to logical arguments. Yeah, they say never, ever try and talk to them because they're going to hand you their ass. Right. That's what's going to happen because you have not a leg to stand on. Uh, there's no point in trying to even an individual who display these sexist behaviours. While these men may claim to operate from a rational perspective, like you, again, again, look at the fucking world you've made, you piece of shit, right? Uh, well, they may claim to operate, but the fact is their underlying motive and emotional is a, is emotional and a selfish one, namely, trying to maintain perceived cult, uh, uh, cultural power that gives them unfair advantages over women. What are these unfair advantages? Can you establish anything? No, but you never do, do you? You never do. Uh, renders the entire ex exercise of fundamentally pointless. That's why I say, I'm not even going to talk to you. The reason you're not going to talk to me is you're wrong, and you know you're wrong, and, you're, and you've lived in a cloud of smug for years and years and years. And now that cloud's probably being broken, right? Elon Musk is breaking that cloud. <laughs> I, I, listen, it's not nice to gloat. It's not nice to gloat, but uh, 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 watching you act the way that you say that other people uh, had acted when they didn't is really just the justice of that. Mwah. Absolute wonderful. Um, uh, uh, the fact they're underlying with this, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, just, as what, uh, just like you would never convince the vast majority of medieval monarchs that uh, the Thans Kalot deserve more economic and political power. I love the way they put in uh, um, acad academia to make themselves feel like they're smart. Yeah, there's many, many idiots at university. Uh, so, too, you will never convince these uh, bro flakes that women deserve more cultural power. Well, again, 
Can you can you uh, 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 in any way establish that? Right? Yeah. Uh, like, can you? What's your citation? Like, uh, what are you basing this on? Other than you being an idiot. Uh, it also reveals the degree of which these individuals in, are indeed pathetic. Okay, this is what I'm doing now. At the end of this video, I am putting a, 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 a little montage of people crying over Twitter. So then we'll see what pathetic actually looks like. Um, say what you were about the French aristocracy during the revolution, but at least the revolution did uh, indeed pose a legitimate threat to power. By contrast, if you're a male pop culture fan who feels threatened by the casting of a woman, we're not threatened. We feel like you're going to turn it into shit. And I want to be clear, I wasn't even one of those people. I wish I was, but I wasn't. I believed your bull crap, right? I, we, they were scared you were going to turn it into shit, and you were apt, and they were absolutely right. Because you fuck everything that you touch. Um, uh, talking about the doctor, I was women and Ghostbusters. Have you seen the, the the lady Ghostbusters? It was shit. It wasn't funny. It was boring. Ghostbusters Afterlife, pretty darn good. Just got a sequel, I heard. Um, the doctor, uh, 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 the doctors, uh, and women as Ghostbusters. That means, uh, then that means you are so devoid of purpose and substance that you personally identify with fictional characters to an unhealthy degree. Uh, darling, darling, I think the only one healthy in this conversation might 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 be you, right? Uh, seeing as you are completely, completely mentally ill. Um. The power these men think is being taken away from me is fictional. And again, no, it's not power. It's the it's the fiction that they enjoyed, right? They're only they're upset only because quite literally they have no lives. <laughs> again, how how how's it going with Elon Musk buying Twitter? You okay with that, or did you leave the app? Oh, I hope you left the app. But you're going to come back to the app within two or three days because you're going to see what people are saying about you. You can't survive without it. Uh, and so, uh, and so, uh, and so some on both the right and left argue we should leave these man babies to stew in their own tears. Man, man babies have been proved completely correct at this point, right? Uh, only the response to critiques such as, uh, of such instances of male fragility in the world of pop culture, you'll hear somebody say, if you ignore them, they'll go away. But history teaches us something quite different. If only we could ignore you and you would have gone away. Indeed, the only way to make them disappear is cream aggressively fighting their bigotry! Yes! Buff crush them into nothing! Uh, until as successive generations follow one, uh, uh, one another, it dissipates completely. That was the plan. That was the plan, right? Did it work out? No, because human beings are wired differently to the way you think, because you're wrong about everything. Uh, if anything, the reason Doctor Who Rao should make us realise just how important it is to draw attention to these individuals' comments. Uh, it, the best approach is to apply more pressure until the men themselves quack and walk away from their keyboards. That's why, right? That's what they were doing. Look in the mirror at the women uh, and the women at. Uh, look in the mirror and at the women they love in their lives, uh, or try to be, uh, or try to be the kinds of people women could love, since they have likely failed in that task. I have many children. I've been married to one woman for my my, my life. You know, like, uh, she's the only person I ever touched. I I, I, uh, uh, I mean, been married, obviously, but uh, um, most people have very functional lives. I, I, I'm guessing that that you don't, right? I'm guessing this might be a little bit projection. Yeah, could be. Um, uh, and begin to think, but uh, think better, to think differently, think like you. Because let me let's just re reiterate, you were wrong, right? You were wrong. Um, yes, uh, perhaps yes. Much of what motivates these men stem from economic fears or from terror of knowing the late capitalism has abandoned them. How did capitalism go down during the Trump years? Oh, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, yeah, yeah. Capitalism has abandoned them because we said people aren't going to buy this crap if you don't make it the, that how people would like it. They're not going to buy it, right? They're not going to buy it. Uh, and they're like, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Capitalism has passed you by. You care now that you're broke, right? The BBC is about, you know, it's about to go under. I think. Uh, who cares? Doctor Who's not owned by the BBC anymore. That's how well you've done. 
Uh, and, the and that women are indeed starting to share at least some of the already, their already diminished power. Again, how is any, what, what is the barrier to entry to for anything for a woman in, in today's society, in 2017 society? What was a barrier for entry? Okay, no, there was none. They don't deserve our respect. Uh, and they don't deserve our sympathy. What they deserve is our scorn. It might just be what they need. How'd that work out then? How'd that work out? You are a blithering moron. So have I. He's talked a lot about white fragi uh, fragility. I'm actually going to go to the time and pull up a bunch of it. Uh, well, a few, a few examples of uh, 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 liberal fragility. I hope you enjoy watching them because they're just wonderful. My name's Taylor Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe and ring the little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Well, it looks like Twitter's gone. They accepted the money and Elon Stalin is taking over. So fuck you, Twitter, and goodbye forever, you insane Q-like forum. Or soon to be insane like Q-like forum. Peace out. Bye. Elon Musk, this is directly to you. Enjoy Twitter. I just deactivated mine. I will not be reactivating it. Enjoy. I deactivated my account and deleted the app. That's what I think of it. Fuck Elon Musk. Today, Twitter has announced that they've been bought by Elon Musk, or however you say his name. Um, I'm not interested in staying on Twitter anymore because of this. And I think there's a lot of people that are about to leave. So I just wanted to let everyone know that you can find me here. I'm going to also share this on Twitter before I deactivate my account so that anyone who wants to follow me can find me here as well. Hey, I did a thing today. I deactivated my Twitter account. You can too. <laughs>